high Brent Tech here where tech is made simple. So we also got a beta channel insider build late on Friday. In my region, build 2263.4805. And just a quick look at some changes and improvements that have rolled out for the beta channel. Now, first of all, Microsoft say they are introducing an improvement to Snap in Windows 11. And the improvement is that inline messaging will now appear when you accidentally invoke the snap bar when dragging an app to the top middle of your desktop or snap fly out when hovering over the minimize or maximize button of an app. So this is that message here at the top. And this messaging is designed, they say, to provide guidance on snapping app windows and educating users on the keyboard shortcuts for quickly snapping app windows in the future. Now, they've listed this as a new feature and a change in improvement, but I don't think this is too much to write home about. But nonetheless, Microsoft say they are trying several variants of this experience out. So what we're looking at here is inline messaging as seen at the top of the snap fly out. And then what we are looking at here is another variant. And this is inline messaging as seen at the top of the snap bar. So that's just two examples of what Microsoft is talking about. And then the next one also was returned in the dev channel build I posted on earlier today. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen. Where after being temporarily disabled to address some issues in a previous build, Microsoft is now beginning to roll out the new gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard on Windows 11 once again. So... Um, this is still undergoing testing, was in the stable version actually for a brief period and then Microsoft pulled it and this is actually has been met with quite a lot of positive reviews. So obviously Microsoft now trying to iron out those bugs before it's reintroduced into the stable version of Windows 11. And then they've also added new functionalities to narrate a scan mode which is an accessibility feature. And then the last change just to mention for this video is Game Pass Ultimate and PC Game Pass subscribers coming to the settings homepage will begin to see a new card for referring a PC Game Pass subscription to their friends to try PC Game Pass for free. This new card will only appear on the settings homepage if you sign into your PC with your Microsoft account and meet the required eligibility criteria according to Microsoft. So. So not too much going on uh, in the beta channel for last week. One or two changes, but nothing really to write home about, so to speak. And over and above that, we get one, two, three, four, five known issues that Microsoft is trying to iron out because beta channel, although closer to stable, is still in effect a preview build. So known issues are also being addressed. And that's what's new in last week's beta channel inside a preview build. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.